honor flight of the year has just taken off Yep, at CVG Airport. Yeah, these flights send veterans over 65 to Washington, D.C. at no cost. Veterans of the tri-state area will have the opportunity to see their memorials and participate in ceremonies honoring their service. The next honor flight will be in May, and I keep telling myself that one of these days I am going to find my way onto one of those flights mm -hmm. because I, we've had other reporters who have had the opportunity to do that, and it they come back changed in a sure. sense, but just because you hear you hear so many stories and you you experience these these things and get to witness people experiencing these these moments, and especially as as some of our veterans get older and you know whole, whole generations that remember certain things will be no more you know at some point it's it's just incredibly special and it's so special that these folks get the honor and the recognition that they deserve because some of them did not get that when they came Correct. back before you, you got a lot of people from vietnam who are going now. right yeah. who get to go and um you know you see them in tears and sharing the stories it's incredible so i'm glad that we are highlighting that as well and we'll continue to do that and every time we hear about a fundraiser because i know a lot of right, times yes. they have fundraisers to raise money to make sure they can continue to do it anytime we hear anything like that we of course will let you know yeah. well the olympic torch is lit and by lit i don't mean <laughs> that's lit i mean it's actually on fire and the countdown to the summer games is on wow fire can I get one of those dresses? I, I've already ordered you one, oh, actually. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, the famous Olympic torch relay kicked off earlier this morning in Greece. The ceremony happening at the historic location of the ancient Olympic Games. For the next 100 days, the lit torch will zigzag across France until eventually making its way to Paris for the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games. Now, we wanted to take a look at some of the people with connections to the tri state who will be representing Team USA at the Paris Games this summer. Cincinnati native and Purcell Marion grad Max Holt will be part of the men's national indoor volleyball team. Holt played on a team here at the Tri-State called the Cincinnati Attack and played in college for Penn State. Yeah, and Walnut Hills grad Nina Castanga will be part of the women's rowing team. She is there in the middle of the group. In this picture, Nina is the team's coxswain and that's kind of like the captain of the boat sure sure uh, mariah dennigan was born in the walton area and she is an open water swimmer and will be representing the u.s on the women's open water swimming team yep and of course we couldn't forget cincinnati's most famous <laughs> olympian rose lavelle and the women's soccer team looking to bring home a fifth gold medal back to the queen city and there are others as well but those are just a few that we're highlighting today can i tell you my quick olympics story yeah um before any I, i'm sorry guys i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna Put us on hold here just for a second because I want I want to talk about this oh, sort of this scene right here. Right now? Uh, I think that's actually almost like like a computer generated oh. hoodilly of the the torch light. At least it looks like. Anyway, so so I was in Athens with my dad late nineties, and I happened to be there, and we didn't know this at the time. I happened to be there with him right as they announced that Athens would be hosting the two thousand four oh. Summer Games, and we are so my dad and I are sitting at this tiny little cafe with the Acropolis in the distance, and all of a sudden these fireworks Aww. just start going off behind the Acropolis because they made the announcement. We didn't know what was going on. We were just sitting there in this cafe. You just thought maybe it was for the Herzogs. It was, it was one of the greatest memories yeah, I, I, I will ever have of my dad and I just oh, in Athens. In this amazing moment where we just happened to be there, right place at the right time. So every time I see you know, a setting like that, I, uh, I think of my dad and I think of that moment, yeah. which, is, which is pretty cool. Which Very is pretty cool. special. One day yeah. I hope to attend the Olympics. It would be cool. I mean, see some just yeah. the, the, the talk of that. You know, people are trading pins, you mm -hmm. know, out in the crowd, all the Olympic pins and all the different things. It must be quite the spectacle. And can I just mention, if you know of somebody from the area, from Indiana, uh, around here, Cincinnati, northern Kentucky, that is going to be participating, yeah. let us know because we don't always know. We don't want to leave those people sure. out. Maybe, you know, on, so, maybe a sport that we don't necessarily right. follow as closely or whatever the case may be. Be, yeah. And I was going through the Olympics website, and you can't really search by like hometown. Hometown. I was trying to find people. So if you know of somebody that we didn't mention, we want to get them on the radar. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, the Reds, of course, get most of the sports attention this time of year. But believe it or not, the road to football training camp is here. The Bengals make some moves pre-draft. They re-signed exclusive rights player Cal Adamitis and unrestricted free agent Joe Bocci. Both got one-year contracts. The NFL draft is a week from Thursday. Today, the Bengals will host local football players at a pre-draft workout. On-field session is scheduled to begin. Gosh, I guess it was maybe started like six minutes ago. In fact, a big question still up in the air. 
Will T. Higgins for sure suit up in stripes this season? Now, he reportedly issued that trade request after being franchise tagged, but recently, and you probably saw this video all around, he hinted that he will be back with the T, team T, this season. T, well, T. look at you. You already, you've already got the whole... the games and they yell, T. I got my rally towel. I got my hoodie rally towel. What is it? Does, oh. that's, that's was that back there on the shelf? Yeah, it was back there on the shelf. I put it back we there. We have so many things on the shelf that I, I don't tracking. even know what's I contributed back there. this. We got this at one of the games. Okay, well, that's, I'm that's ready. A, are you? Are you <laughs> you're, no, I like my football. <laughs> you just, you made like a, oh, that was like a Tim Allen. That was like a Tim Allen home yeah. improvement sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm excited. More power. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, well, it's mid-April, but it feels like June, which is why we want to know, what are your favorite places to dine outdoors? Yeah, Steven says, how about this one? The root beer stand, Redding Road. I got out there with my buddy Cliff, what was that, last year or two years ago to do a story about yep. the root beer stand. The big thing, the, 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 the root beer that they make, it's made from well water. Well, the well they got out there that they filter, so it just tastes different. Just right, and yeah. because you did that, I finally took my son out Did you get out there? Out there? Yep, we went out last summer, too. So good. Well, Martha says, Anywhere on the Loveland Bike Trail, Ramsey's Bishop's Quarter, they are all great. I'll add one more because I just happened yeah. to be out there over the weekend. Callie and I just decided to go out to the Loveland Bike Trail and take us a nice long walk. And we did. We'd never done that before out in that area. We went to the Wicked Pickle. Oh, I've heard good Wicked things. Pick. It's very chill, very yeah. sort of Key West kind of relaxed, kick back. Good time. Good time. Uh, Lori says the Hoosier Ice House oh. in Lawrenceburg, blackened shrimp, Caesar salad, Ooh. and a Speedway Slammer, my summer go-to dinner. Good. Laura, you have not only the place, but you have the, the, the menu items as well. That's, that's well done. Yeah, that's well sounds played. good. And Wade says, love to grab some pizza and go to Cowan Lake outside of Wilmington. Good for the soul to watch the boats and the ducks. Do you like to get down the water? Do you live that lake life, or would you live that lake life? Uh, you know me in the water. <laughs> we did. I we like actually be, just had this discussion, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I like to be by the water, not necessarily in, in the, the water. water. So that sounds delightful. I'd like to go up and do that. So I love the dine by the water, especially. Yeah. And uh, I know we discussed this yesterday because it just opened yesterday. But Cabana yeah. on the River is one of my favorite places to go. Yeah. And dine outside. How do you do like on boats? Do you get seasick or do you? Yeah, are you okay? Seasick, really? So. I get a little. Yeah. I get a little. I can get a little funky. If it's like a pontoon, I love me a pontoon. Oh. Yeah. On nice the, and slow. I almost just sang a song. I know we're not allowed to not sing. Not allowed to sing. Yep. Never allowed to sing. Don't ever sing. But that's a good song and. Great song. I love Ubuntu. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.